welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a video all about packing because I'm going on a yoga retreat at the weekend. I've talked about it on my blog quite a bit. It's at Wraithwaite Estate in Whitby. It's a three day long retreat so I've got I think it's three yoga sessions each day. Well there's like the morning sunrise yoga, afternoon yoga, evening nidra yoga and we're doing stand up paddleboard yoga as well which is going to be really interesting because I haven't got really that much balance so so I thought it'd be really interesting to do a packing video so you can see what I'm taking with me because honestly I had absolutely no idea what to pack for it I still don't know if I've got it right but maybe you can reassure me if you watch this see what you think so I'm taking two bags with me and I've got a cat here as well so I've got to try not to crush her she's asleep so I've got two bags that I'm going to take with me the first one is this really cool um sort of indian elephant inspired one from a place called yoga united um i got this bag a couple of weeks ago because one of my friends at work laura left and she's one who i do loads of yoga with we'd both been looking at these together and we really liked them so i just i put myself in charge of doing her leaving present and bought her a similar one of these so i thought i might as well buy one myself while i'm at it so oh, i'll try not to crush this cat she's in a really awkward position here so I'm taking loads of stuff because I honestly had no idea what to take. So I'll start with the leggings. So first up I've got a pair of full length um, pink, mint green, black, white striped leggings. These are one of my favourite ones. I wear these all the time. got a nice thick waistband. These are from Lidl and you're going to find out that pretty much all of my gym stuff is from Lidl. Um, I think about 80% of the stuff I'm taking here is Lidl. So that's my first pair, full length yoga leggings and then got another pair of full length yoga leggings again little i think yeah crivet i think that's the little logo so these are again little they've got a nice thick waistband they've got that stitching that you can see around there and underneath there got the stitching you can see around there and underneath there and these are like a um sort of a pink and orange leopard print which is quite cool so they're full length and they've got a little handy pocket inside there, which is nice. So that's my, I'm taking two full length pairs of leggings because I don't know whether we're going to be inside or outside, whether it's going to be warm or cold. So then I've got a three quarter length pair of leggings. These ones are from a place called BAM. Oh my God, they back front. That'll do. These are a place called BAM. There you go, you can see it there. They're, um, they're made of bamboo fabric and they're super soft and they're that kind that really they're almost like fleecy jersey but they keep you really nice and warm when it's cool and keep you cool when it's warm a bit as well so they've got a sort of tropical blue print on them another three quarter length pair of leggings just some gray jersey ones really simple but these have got this little cross design on the leg there makes them a bit more interesting again these are little with an even wider waistband they're just really comfortable with the wide waistband the high waisted and final little pair of leggings again these are my more usual just very standard gym leggings they come to just below the knee and they've got a nice little green insert there and these are really really comfortable um I don't know if I'll wear these ones because they're more my gym ones and I'm not planning to go to the gym with all the yoga I'm doing, but I've got them anyway. So, tops next. So I have got, start at the end. This is a, just a plain gray jersey racer back top. This was from TK Maxx and it's a brand called 90 Degree by Reflex. And I bought it because it's got a picture of a woman doing dance around the back. But I like gray, so. And it goes with all my other bottoms, so that's all right. Another grey and another little. This is racer back and it's got this cool little strap that loops around the back there that slides along there. So it'd be really easy to make actually that. So that's a bit looser that one, whereas that one was a tight fit one. Then this is the same brand as the leggings. This is Bam again. It's nice and loose and airy and then fitted around the bottom and it's got a keyhole opening in the back which I really like for wearing with um, cool sports bras underneath with like the strappy designs on which I'm going to show you a couple of those in a minute. So it's that and that's really nice, the same soft jersey bamboo material 
And then finally a t-shirt, which is from Matalan. I like cross back things, you can probably tell. So it's got the little keyhole back with a cross design. I usually wear vest tops for doing exercise because you get warm really quickly, but I thought I'll have a t-shirt as well, just in case. And then I've got a couple of cover up tops too. This one's just a zip up um, fitted one. It's probably more for like cycling or running, but it's got this sort of, um, what do you call that? Uh, I can't know what it's called. It's almost like fishnet tights, fishnet stockings, but that sort of design. And it's got little thumb holes there. Uh, just really easy to just throw on because I think there might be some outdoor bits to what we're doing. And then a lovely pink one, nice bright pink. And it's got that sort of marl texture to it. Gray pink marl. Again, with the thumb holes. This is from Zaffle, I think it's called. It's an online website. It's really, really cheap. It was like four pounds or something for this. And it's, I wear it every, probably every two or three days over the top of my yoga stuff, just when I'm getting going. Then sports bras. I've got my usual trusty old panache, which I wear all the time. This one's my supportive one I'm taking with me. I don't need that much support when I'm doing yoga, but I do quite, actually I've started wearing it more often nowadays for yoga, but that's because I'm going to the gym before as well, which I probably won't be on the yoga retreat. So that's my panache one. Then I've got a couple of Victoria's Secret sports bras, which really don't fit me that well at all. I buy them in a medium. I normally wear a 28 double G in bras. Um, and I thought that Victoria's Secret ones wouldn't fit me at all. But somebody recommended I try them in a medium. Medium and large they are these. So what's that one? This one is, yeah, it's a medium. And it, yeah, it doesn't give any support at all, but it's super pretty. Look at the got this little cross design that goes over there and joins over at the back and it's got a lining inside too which is gives a little bit more support but I mean I'm not going to be going running in it but it looks cool underneath my vest tops with open backs and then another Victoria's Secret one which is even cooler so that's a sort of California tropical print I don't know what you want to call it and that's got like super crossover at the back and then it's got the pink branding around the elastic at the bottom and it makes me feel really cool, even though I'm not. So that's those. And then also in this big bag, I've got my mat. This is why I wanted this bag. It fits in all my clothes, plus mat, plus blocks, plus straps. I'm only taking the mat with me. I'm not taking any other equipment because I'm sure they'll have that if I need it. Then just a couple of little bits. I've got arm warmers, which my friend Charlie got me for Christmas. These are from a company called Braintree. They're really good for when you're getting going getting warmed up, deodorant just because, a hairbrush and loads of hair bubbles because I snap them all the time and then a little pouch, this is one that my friend Fran got me for Christmas, it says one in a million, it's really cute and I don't know if it's picking that up and in here I've got shampoo just because I use that for the gym, loads of hair bands to keep my hair pushed back in various colours, these are just from Amazon, they were like £4 for a pack of six or something and then I've got two pairs of yoga socks, which are toeless, and they've got this grip on the bottom. I've got the little infinity symbol there, and they're stripy. Then the other pair, these are ones that Charlie got me for Christmas. These are called toe socks, these ones. These are my first pair of yoga socks. And they've got the open bit on top of the foot, so for warmer weather, really. So they've got the grip on the bottom. And then finally, my yoga gloves, because I slide. I tend to slide a lot, I don't know why. I think I've got really, well, I get like really dry hands that don't grip onto my mat properly. So I bought some yoga gloves, which I'm trying to put on to show you now. They're like riding gloves, somebody told me. I was like, oh, that's true. But they've got the infinity symbol, which makes them yoga, you see, so there you go. So they've got the grip on them, they're fingerless, so you can hold on better in Downward Dog. So that's everything in my yoga bag. And I thought I'd just do a quick rundown of my other bag that I'm taking as well, which is just my daily wear. So I'm there for, oh, I'm gonna knock thing over. Oh, and I've also got just <laughs> this bag from Sarah Millican um, with my trainers in because you need trainers and socks just because. And then this is my overnight bag. <laughs> This is my weekend bag. This is from Mahi Leather. It's got the little tag on it somewhere for last wear. 
It's from Mahi Leather. Um, I wrote about them on my blog and they really kindly sent me one of their bags as a thank you for that. So that was really nice and it's really big and useful to take everywhere for weekends. So it's really nice. So I've got three days at the yoga retreat. Um, I've got two evenings where we're having three course meals and I'm assuming that we're not going to be wearing yoga wear to those. So I thought I'd better pack some things to make sure I'm not in my yoga wear all the time. So I've just got a pair of jeans, these are my ASOS, um, oh, what do they call them, Farley jeans? Farley jeans? Farley? Farley? Okay. And a leather belt from ASOS as well that I always wear with these. They're just that mom, I don't know how to say that, mom fit jeans, um, which I wear all the time at the moment. So I have got those. And then I've got a couple of tops. This is just my plain collective black top it's um oh i forgot what the fabric's called um is it going to tell me no cotton and spandex but there's a name for it um it's kind of like thick stretchy fabric but anyway yeah so i've got a plain black top scoop neck uh nice simple so i can wear that with the jeans to go out for tea and then um just a literally a simple um it's got a dash of cashmere in it it's a Bowden grey t-shirt it's really really soft and just like loose fit then I've also got a jumper the pink Primark weekend vibe jumper weekend vibes so I can wear that oh well, I'm thinking just for throwing on if we're like during the day I can wear it with yoga stuff as well and it's super soft inside I have got my Primark dress, lots of Primark, Primark dress with the fluted sleeves which I wore on the blog the other week. Um, that one can wear for going out in the evenings as well. Going out in the evenings I say, it's in the hotel restaurant but you know what I mean. Then I've got a couple of bras, just plain black lace one, flowery plain one, I've got a pair of tights to wear with the dress and lots of pairs of knickers because you can never have too many that's my theory and a Victoria's Secret lacy loungy bra as well that one. Oh, and you know what I haven't put in yet I haven't put pyjamas in Ooh, that's, it's a good thing I'm doing this actually I probably would have forgotten otherwise and I'm sharing a room as so I'm I think I'm going to be sharing a room with the instructor so she would want to see me lying around in my knickers and t-shirt so that's probably a good thing that I've just remembered and the last thing oh sorry Charlie bag she's all right last thing that i've got is swimwear because there's a um swimming pool and a spa at the hotel and i've booked in for a massage as well so i'm really excited for that so i've booked a f i've booked i've packed a few different things so first up i've got this bikini oh, which i've got the label tangled on i've got this bikini which is from a place called UK swimwear and it's got it's super tropically patterned it's got this little cross over the front which actually I think I'm gonna have to loosen that a little bit because it's just a bit too small in the cups for me that's a size medium that one is just a little bit too small so that's the top and there's the bottoms these are brand called Fax swimwear p-h-a-x and oh they've got the little gingham lining in as well which is really cute um so there's that one which I've got as my spa swimwear. Then I've got a swimming costume. This is a Freya swimming costume. It's got a keyhole neck, halter neck. It's got, it's just all the way down like that. It's this really cool pattern. And it's also got an integrated, it's got integrated bra cups inside it and fastens at the bra back with a bra fastening as well inside the swimsuit so that's sort of hidden in there which is really useful for people like me and I got that in a what did I get that in a 30 double f even though I'm a 28 double g normally I went down the size that you can kind of get away with it with the swimming costumes so that'll be good for the spa and then I'm also taking oops I'm also taking along this little red bikini this is there's the bottoms and that's the top. This is a panache swimming uh, bikini. Um, 
and again this one's bra size and is a 30g um i'm taking this one because when we do the stand-up paddle boarding i'm not entirely sure what i have to wear for that i think that they might be giving us wetsuit so i think you you might want to wear a bikini underneath i don't know i've never worn a wetsuit i've never been surfing never done anything like that so that's going to be fun um so i thought i'd better have something slightly supportive and underwire to go underneath it just in case so i've got that uh that's everything apart from my shoes i'm gonna put in my shoes my makeup and wash bag just the night before I go because it's not until Friday, it's Monday now. So bank holiday Monday, happy Easter. Um, so I'll pack those on Thursday night probably or Friday morning. So I'm go I've got the day off work on Friday. And that's everything. Uh, let me know if you think I've missed anything because like I said, I've got no idea what I'm supposed to be packing for it. So we'll see how it goes and I'll report back to you. I might even do some filming at the retreat. Let's see how it goes. So make sure you like this video i've got to do that bit and subscribe down there whatever it is and yeah i'll speak to you soon bye